Welcome to video two for week six for Ipsy. So I'm still on slide eight. I just want to clarify that you've scored each one of these boxes. So like I said, you probably made a little chart on a piece of paper that said A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and all that. And you wrote down your scores beside each letter. So now you're going to tally these up. Now note that you're not tallying a whole column, okay? You got to read right down here. And it tells you A, H, K, N, and S are the, you add those boxes up and that becomes that number. And then for the next one, it says D, I don't know, E, L, P, and G. You add those up, okay? So it's not a column like this. And once you do that, you'll see your scores. And the one with the highest score, that's what color you are. And add in your, your card color as well, the one with the pictures on it. Okay, so now you've got your colors. Now we're going to look at, um, uh, are, you, are you maybe introverted or extroverted? So I want you to look at each one of these pictures and tell me which one appeals to you as your dream vacation. What, what looks the most fun? Okay, so you'll go through each one of these slides and take a look at them and see what appeals to you and think about why they appeal to you. Okay? All right. So what did you choose and why? So did you choose one um, where you took risks? Did you choose one where you were with lots of people? Did you... Did, Everybody's going to choose different kinds of ones um, in it for different reasons. But think about why you chose the vacation that you did. And think about, is it because you were with other people? Or is it because you got a chance to do your own thing on your own, um, maybe solo or just with one or two friends? And that maybe um, gives you an idea of if you are an introvert, or an extrovert. And these are some other characteristics of extroverts and introverts to help you kind of determine, are you more this or more that? Like most people aren't 100% extroverted or 100% introverted, but you're somewhere on a spectrum. And are you more this way or more that way? So I want you to decide that. So now you'll know what color you are. And maybe you'll have an idea if you're more extroverted and introverted. And know then that this, the, the primary color, that's your first one, um, that's, that best represents your personal life and work life preferences, okay? Those words that we just described. And I'll give you more information later in the class about um, descriptions about each of the colors. But here's an interesting point. If you're an introvert, the world might see you as that color, not your first color. All right. We're going to talk about um, in class what color you are and what it means. And in class, we're going to do an activity together. So you need to be in class in week six. And for those of you who have class on Monday, that's okay. I'll discuss the, the activity the following week.